we'll say this one is going to be the quartile. This one needs another argument, a comma, and we'll put a one next to it, quartile one. And then this is the median, which could be quartile two formula or the median for function, tab, selecting the data. There's the median and then equals quartile number three, selecting the data, this needing another argument, therefore a comma and quartile number three, the three next to it. And then the max when we maxed out on the calories. So the max selecting the, oh, hold on a sec something happened this is the max and i gotta hit shift nine i could do that to get my function ready to roll and then selecting my data so that's when we ate a whole bunch of calories apparently i don't know i was just drinking drinking bacon fat or something <laughs> I, I, anyway then we have the standard deviation on um, this one equals the standard and we're looking at the population data at this point Let's take the standard deviation for the population, P, and select that. And then this will be equal to the stand, the variance for the population. And we'll pick up that. Let's, let's just do the same thing for the sample. So just to pick those up, if it were a sample, standard deviation samp and variance, variance for the samp. And this is going to be equal to the standard deviation for a sample. And this will be equal to the standard deviation for a, I'm sorry, this will be equal to the variance. Variance for a sample, V-A-R dot S. Okay, so there's all the stats. Did I get them right this time? These are the population, population this is for a sample versus uh, a sample. If I look at this one, by the way, home tab, number group, uh, and I add some decimals just to see uh, some a little bit of a, a differentiation between the two calculations. All right, let's put some blue borders around this. I'm gonna select our data and we'll go to the insert tab, font group, hit the bucket drop down. If you don't have that blue, it's in the more color in the wheel standard side and hitting that wheel and okay. And then we'll go to the font drop down, put some borders around this whole thing. Let's, uh, let's put a histogram in it now. So let's take our data, the calorie data, insert tab up top, charts, and hit the drop down, but not too hard, don't break it. And then go to the histogram. So there we have it. So there's our data. It's fairly, fairly centered data, a little bit, you know, skewed to the right here, but there's our pictorial format of the data. And so now let's do our standard deviation calculation uh, using, and our variance using like a table format. So we get an idea of what's actually happening with those because they're a bit more complex calculations. So we've got the variance Ver, ver, oh, hold on a sec, variant, now I hit the cap lock, variance, and I'm going to copy my formula over here, so there's the formula, I'll bring it down to like 12 on the font, let's do 12 font, now you can type in that formula, remember, with the insert tab, hit an, an equation, and then I would use the ink thing, so that you can actually kind of type it in here or handwrite it in here, not type it in here, that's the point. And it'll start to do your formula up top. So I'm gonna make this one uh, orange as well. And we'll make this black and white up top for the header. Black and white. Okay, and then we're gonna say, this is gonna be the standard deviation formula and we'll put that in place making that 12 on the font as well orange in it making it orange that is that's what we do that's what orange in it means when we orange it and so there it is okay so we we can see that these two are related of course because this this whole bit here for the variance sigma squared is the same thing as what's under uh, here on the standard deviation and then we're going to take the square root of it 
to get the standard deviation. So let's do that calculation on more of a manual method, which although there's a whole lot of data points here, is still pretty easy to do. So let's just copy this whole thing. I'm gonna copy from column A to column B, selecting those two columns, right-clicking and copy. And let's put them on over here in column R, R and S, R. So we're gonna say Control V or just paste it. Let's make a skinny Q column, skinny Q. And then we'll just do our standard kind of thing here. So here's all of our individual points represented by X, XI. So we're gonna go from one all the way up to however many of them there are, N of them, that is. So we're gonna say this is gonna be the mean. So we're gonna compare all of them to the mean. And if you're, if you're over the mean, we're going to be mean about it and say that you're getting fat because you're over, because <laughs> you had, you had more calories than the mean.